For some, the chill in the air, the prospect of snow, the changing of the leaves is a happy time of the year that they look forward to. But for many others, it's the start of seasonal affective disorder. It affects 10 million Americans, and up to 66 million more people have mild symptoms. It's a depressive disorder that is most frequently occurs at this time of the year. And with COVID-19 and social isolation across much of the country, this year it's going to be much worse. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about what it is and how you can prepare for it. Seasonal affective disorder has many of the same symptoms as a major depressive disorder, the hopelessness and helplessness, irritability, fatigue, loss of interest in things that you like to do normally. Uh, it also includes some other things such as uh, muscle tension and stomach issues. Um, the idea that you can feel tired no matter how much sleep that you've gotten, and even the um, craving of extra carbohydrates. Uh, so those are things you might want to look into or, or notice in yourself uh, this time of year. COVID-19, social isolation, the pandemic that's been uh, striking us for the last eight or more months has seen a marked increase in people who are suffering from depression. And now with winter coming upon us and having the stress of the holiday season, the social isolation that happens in the wintertime as well, many people are not able to get out as often, and this dealing with the darkness and the cold that is overcoming us is going to have us facing an even worse winter as far as seasonal, uh, seasonal affective disorder goes. So that being said, what can you do to put yourself in the best position possible this winter season with everything that's going on? So number one, be a plant, right? Be outside as much as possible, get sunlight. The lack of sunlight is one of those things that really does wear on people eventually. And with the changing of the hours and being dark when you wake up and dark really early, it's very easy to start having this feeling of blah that overcomes you. So if you can, in the middle of the day, get out, stretch your legs, take a walk, soak up some sunlight, open the shades, and just be a plant. Um, also when thinking about being a plant, I would say try to limit your alcohol consumption and cr increase your water consumption. I know a lot of us have been overindulging on the alcohol. It's been a wild last couple of months, and now might be a good time to really reassess where you are in that alcohol intake, where you are in that water intake, and try to increase that water a bit more as well. Get exercise. Whether it's a walk around the block, walk through the park, or just exercising in your living room, do whatever you can to move your body. It's actually been shown that regular exercise has as much or sometimes even better results than taking antidepressant medication. So if you can, stretch your legs, stretch your body, and move. Social isolation is going to be compounded by winter. We're not gonna to wanna to go anywhere. Sometimes we might not be able to go anywhere. And a lot of the things that we would wanna do, we might not be able to do anymore because it is just so cold outside, depending on where you live in the country. With that being said, seek connection, right? Get online, get on those Zoom parties. Do whatever it is you can to set up a network of people and make it a regular occurrence, whether it be a weekly board game night, a role-playing game, video games with friends, whatever it is that you can do to form connections now and maintain them through the winter season is going to help you out a great deal. And last but not least, seek professional help. If you find yourself in a situation where you're just overcome by the social isolation that's been going on, the loneliness, or the depression that sets in during the winter time and you need someone to talk to, reach out to a therapist. There are a lot of therapists doing online teletherapy, myself included, that are going to be wonderful to help you out through this season. So please take good care of yourself. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully you found some of this helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. And if you have other tips for how to get through this winter season, please comment below. Thank you again and welcome to the Great State Community. Thank you.